Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to be your tour guide today. I'm visiting Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and today we're going to be checking out Yarmouth. This video is filmed May 2024, and I'm visiting today with my mother. Before we do anything, we have to get some breakfast. I heard that the Celtic Kitchen is the place to go. I also had a lot of other recommendations too, but this one looked really interesting to me. It was pretty busy when we arrived, but they were able to seat us pretty promptly and gave us seats at the little bar area. For those of you that know me, know I always get Eggs Benedict and I have to try it everywhere. But more importantly, it was the homemade corned beef hash that got me here. So what should we do in Yarmouth? I wasn't really sure, but I do know what I want to do. I want to check out the resorts. That's what my channel is mostly about, is resort tours. So let's go. If you're just finding my channel, my name is Jennifer Sparks, and this is what I do. I travel all the time, and I make videos about my stays to help other people make better choices about their upcoming trips. I'm mostly hanging around casino towns, but I really wanted to check out Cape Cod. I haven't been here in about 30 years, and it was a lovely place to visit with my mother. First thing I want to do is take you over to the coast and show you the hotels that are right on the water. Here's a look at Ocean Mist Beach Hotel and Suites. In this video today, I'm going to be doing walk arounds on the outsides of the property. I did not stay in any of these places. This is just an overview, just to show you the different places that you could choose from in Yarmouth, Massachusetts. This is my first time ever coming to Yarmouth and it is very beautiful. You're going to see ocean waves here. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the Nantucket Sound. And I also believe that, that this is South Yarmouth, where the beaches are. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm new to this. <laughs> this is my first time here. I'm doing the best I can. I'm looking at the resort on the web now. This is Ocean Mist Resort. Has good ratings. Has continental breakfast that's free. Has a heated outdoor pool. People really like it here. Now come join me. We're going to go take a ride and see what else we stumble upon. We really loved our one week stay. We stayed over in Falmouth, Massachusetts, which was probably maybe about an hour ride from here. Maybe a little more or less. On the way here, we stopped for breakfast and on the way home, we stopped off in Hyannis to check out the John F. Kennedy Museum. May was a beautiful time to visit. Not everything was open, but enough was, and the flowers were starting to bloom and it wasn't too crowded. So I thought it was a wonderful time to visit. As we approached the end of the road, we realized that there is another resort down here, the Red Jacket Beach Resort. It seems very exclusive down here, like you're going to a private party or something. <laughs> it's kind of like down the end of a road. It has its own little private beach. It's surrounded by water. I think it's an Nantucket Sound and a river. This property had an indoor and outdoor pool. I'm checking out their website now. It looks like it has just been recently renovated or is getting renovated. Nothing was going on the day that I was there. I don't even know if it was open for the season yet. We're going to run into another Red Jacket Resort coming up soon. This one is called Red Jacket Beach Resort. If you would like to add anything about this resort or any of the resorts that I'm showcasing, please feel free. Comments are very welcome and I learned a lot from the people that view my videos. It's currently the end of June as I'm voicing over this. I'm sure this beach does not look like this now. I'm sure it's packed. Here's a peek at the indoor pool. We have three more beach resorts to go check out. And then later in the video, I'm gonna take you for a look at the Cove at Yarmouth. That is a timeshare. That is a place that I could possibly stay in the future. This resort here is called Blue Water. What a beautiful part of the United States. Blue Water appeared to be open on the time that I was there, but not much was going on. Again, I'm sure it doesn't look like that right now. 
Right next door to Blue Water is the other Red Jacket Hotel, Riviera Beach Resort. Let's go, let's go check this out. Wow, this one gave me like Black Island vibes. That pool over there is a resort next door, which we are gonna go see next. That hotel with the pool next door is called the Ocean Club. Come on, let's go check it out. The Ocean Club at Smuggler's Beach has a beautiful glass enclosed indoor pool. This was really nice. I don't recall seeing an outdoor pool. I'm on the web now and it doesn't have any mention of an outdoor pool. But there's a beach, an indoor pool, they have sun decks. It was really nice. There was also a hot tub in the indoor pool area. Here is a look at the neighboring Bass River Beach. Very scenic location. There's also boating here, fishing, just checking out birds. <laughs> I'm reading some reviews. There's been seals been spotted here. Really cool. Now we're gonna take a little drive, see what the town of Yarmouth looks like. Driving around, we stumbled on the chapter house. We were like, what, what is that? Oh my gosh. It was established in 1716. It is now a gorgeous Victorian inn. And last but not least, I wanna share with you my little walk around at Cove at Yarmouth. I've seen this on Interval International so many times. It's a timeshare, but unfortunately it's not on the beach, boo. <laughs> but it is in an excellent location if you wanna go check out other towns in Cape Cod. It's in a really central location. But the resort seemed nice and I was very grateful to find it because I've always seen it, like I said, and hopefully I'll be able to visit there sometime in the near future. I really enjoyed my visit to Cape Cod. We were there for a week, but more importantly, I enjoyed the time with my mom. I'm super busy, I wear a million hats, <laughs> but you have to make the time for those that you love. So you can make these beautiful memories. If you wanna see more of my videos, click on one of my playlists right here. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Don't wait, make sure you book a trip and you pack your bags and you go. Cape Cod is wonderful and you deserve to go there. Always be good to yourself and kind to others. Safe travels to you.